Now, we can open it up to the floor, people who have questions for Norman. Uh, would, you, would you identify one issue, civil liberties issue, uh, today as being the most urgent? Well, you know, it depends how broad. I mean, it, it's very hard to do that. I, I will uh, uh, mention two or three. I mean, it's hard, hard to do that. Sure. One uh, is reproductive freedom or sexual autonomy, which would include the rights of women to have abortions. As uh, uh, you mentioned, I'm, I'm like the brief in Roe v. Wade, but, uh, who's not the principal, even though I was technically the lawyer of, uh, in, in charge. The women in Texas were the ones who really ran the case. Gay rights, the, the whole cluster of, of autonomy regarding that might slop over to a war, to a obscenity and so forth. As, sexually related or what's in the world. The second it are the cluster, is the cluster of issues coming out of 9-11. I mentioned some of them, but those issues as a whole, for the very reason that was stated, a lot of people are very naturally worried about national security. All of us are worried about security. I mean, you have to be, if you're human, I think I can go that far. But the question is, when you begin thinking of exactly what they're doing, uh, the ACLU above all has to try to deal with it. And of course we lose sometimes, but we win sometimes. We win a case in which Scalia wrote the opinion on our side involving, I can't remember exactly what, what, what the issue was. And of course the third, the two other things would be physical privacy, again search and seizures, police practices, and Miranda, and uh, uh, and thirdly, the, the, finally, the cluster of issues involving the First Amendment. What you can read, whether you can demonstrate, whether you can pick it, whether you can publish what you want. And I mentioned Crystal Eastman. One of the first censorship cases in the United States was the successful attempt by the government during the First World War to seize and put out of business a magazine known as the New Masses, which was a very left-wing magazine edited by Crystal Eastman's brother, Max Eastman. And he, he, so, that, so those are four areas. And if I had to choose, I mean, I, I, I would have a drink. Uh, <laughs> anyone else? Yeah. I'm guessing you would agree with the proposition that there's a segment of, of the American population that absolutely hates the ACLU, I mean, the passion, not just the folks. That's right. it. And, and I'm guessing that a segment of that segment, the, the it's it because it defends fringe kinds of people like Nazis and you know, communists. But I, I wonder, aside from that, whether you think there's something else working? Well, that explains that. the ACLU does have the reputation of being a liberal organization. And in, in some sense, since you're opposing government all the time, that's an accurate uh, uh, general. But the ACLU has tried very hard, as I've given examples, the, Nonpartisan. One area where I personally failed a little bit is whether or not the ACLU should oppose a, a, the, the uh, ratification or a confirmation of Supreme Court justices or any other justices. The, Roger Baldwin regarded this as a holy mission. He said, once you start doing that, you're in a terrible situation practically because the judge will never look upon you favorably, and B, you'll undercut. You're nonpartisan. I agree with Roger, but the organization opposed Rehnquist's confirmation, Thomas, and now Alito. My view is that those were self-inflicted wounds on the ACLU. They had no effect at all on what those justices decided, and all you do is, is make some enemies. And it's much better to have an opponent than an enemy. And uh, so, so it's it, it's it's like, like the other question, it's a very good question, and I, 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 I don't don't be afraid, don't be frightened. I could speak about this for a long time. <laughs> and, uh, uh, it's uh, you know you, you again have to be specific. When I spoke to the ACLU, it depends on the forum, including conservative forums. I can those what's your name? Chapman and I debated a couple times. I would say meant it from the bottom of my heart that the ACLU is a conservative organization. It's defending conservative, the principles 
that are in the Constitution. Now, they have to be elaborated. You know, you can't have freedom of speech, exclude radio and TV, the world changes. Um, and, but the principles that are in the Constitution are what the ACNU attempts to defend. Now, whether they are considered conservative or liberal depends on the, the person you, you ask. But it, 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 so many times, uh, uh, for example, even in, in, in uh, dismissing Elizabeth Gurley Flynn, I didn't mention other things, in 1940, the board passed what is called the 1940 Resolution. For those of you who may be old-time members of the ACNU, there used to be a card which said the ACNU uh, does not protect uh, Nazis, communists, and other opponents of, of liberty. I mean, it, was, it wasn't phrased exactly, I really don't remember exactly. And in the 60s, that was ended. But it, it, it said that on the car, and many people would say, what do you mean? How can you not to, well, if, if, if a communist is beaten up by the police, would you not defend them? Or if a, a, a Nazi wants to speak? Uh, but, you know, people obviously have many emotions other than civil liberties. And a lot of times, the board, as I said, very strongly divided. The people who voted not to have Vietnam considered a civil, they were not for the war. They were against the war. But they felt it was not the ACLU's job. Well, we debated it, and that's how it came out. Gun control is another issue, which is a long history. But there's another example. Most ACLU people would be in favor of gun control would be my guess. But does that mean it's a civil liberties to be against gun control? Is regulation of guns itself a civil liberty? A lot of people on the other side would say bearing arms is what the civil liberty is. That's part of the Constitution. Well, you run into a lot of tensions. And the ACU is not taking a, a, a position as avoiding that issue unless it's not more recently than I remember the point to my era. Norman, you must have had a lot of difficulties uh, defending civil liberties as opposed to engaging in politics. I mean, it's a very fine line sure. of the gun control thing would be an example of this. How does the ACLU still keep its title? Does it have a title? Yeah, yeah because we don't, uh, we have two of them. We have a 501c3 mm -hmm. and uh, and then a regular, I mean, money that comes that's tax deductible uh, goes to 501c3. There are many organizations. I thought you were going to ask me how I handle it. I handle it very easily. I did not engage in any politics while I was in office of the ACLU. I was vice president and general counsel and president, maybe 25 years. Now, of course, this saved me some money, I might say. <laughs> so I was a very fortuitous. Uh, I never would endorse a candidate. I never would take a position. Uh, that, uh, I, mean, I, I would take positions on, on public issues. Uh, but for example, gun control. I, if the ACNU, and I never would take a position publicly. Now that's, you know, again, it's an office against an ACNU position. And that's a very awkward situation. But I just decided uh, that I, I, I did. And the ACNU does, did all the things I'm saying. We represent lots of conservative and right-wing clients. I mean three, I mean scores. Uh, we don't endorse candidates. I think it was a very bad mistake to be involved uh, in, in Leo, Thomas, and Rinkerson. Did no good and, and could, couldn't help but hurt a bit. You know, it's not the only thing in the world, so it, it hasn't hurt the AC as much as uh, it, it could have, as a matter of fact. So, um, now, in individuals, members of uh, now we freely engage in politics, large numbers of members do. But uh, the ACNU itself does its very best. And there are big disputes on just your question. When is something really political and not uh, 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 a, a civil liberties matter? And again, I, 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 I feel I have, we'll have to do this over at your house sometime, but I don't want to go on too long here. People are maybe again, but I could give examples where uh, you know there is exactly the kind of conflict you mentioned. 